I'm Professor Peter Stuckey, a professor in the Faculty of IT. I teach discrete optimization, which is one of the four specialisations, you pick three of those, in the Graduate Certificate of Artificial Intelligence. We'll start with the introductory course. We put you all on the same page, we sort of know what skills you have. Of course, you have to come in with a certain amount of skills. And then you pick three of these four, and each of those will sort of give you more skills in the artificial intelligence space. It's completely online, so it's very flexible. They can do it intensely and basically do it in about 12 weeks, or they could do it over four, six week periods. It depends on what's going to fit with your lifestyle. The assessment is via online project work, so we want to, you to do hands-on. So you actually have to use the technology to solve, you know, realistic problems. So we use all these kind of methods, which are common in sort of online courses, peer review, and these kind of things, which are actually very good at building understanding. So you'll come out with a lot of understanding about what the artificial intelligence technology is, how to use it, what it can do, what it can't do. Equally important in some sense is to understand where this technology is going. You'll have that conceptual basis to understand how it's changing, where the new developments are, how to make use of those. You can walk straight out into some existing jobs like data scientist or machine learning engineer. One of the exciting things about this area is that even the names of the jobs aren't really set in stone yet, but the opportunities are vast. Basically every industry is looking at artificial intelligence and they're going to need experts. Make sure you have enough of the prerequisites to come in. There is some sort of level of background knowledge that you sort of need to get the most out of the course. Most of them find it extremely exciting. This is clearly changing the world in a big way. This is preparing you to be part of that change.